And now for a brief mycorrhizal primer. Let's break it down. Let's dive into the fungi. So mycorrhizal, mycofungi rhizal root from taking it back to that Latin root. So yes, mycorrhizae, mycelium, the name for all of that hyphae, that single strand of fungal wandering, just single cell, single cell, single cell, exploring, becoming miles and miles, 28 miles of hyphae of mycelium found in a handful of soil. So yes, these are the way that fungus just explores and expands into the world. Foundational and ancient creatures they are and in extraordinary relationship with all other beings around them. Mycelium, mushrooms, fungi, but that mycelium specifically is the original world wide web, right? Or as I've heard it said sometimes, the wood wide web, which I... <laughs> just love. <laughs> so yes, these single cell strands of hyphae are interconnecting everything. I love as much as there's chaos in the 21st century that we are just learning that everything is so deeply interconnected. And of course, we have known this in our indigenous lives, but our colonized minds need this medicine more than ever. Do I digress? Potentially a little. Let's get back on the mycorrhizae train. Okay, so let's talk about fungi and they, their symbioses with plants. Say, a tree. So fungi, these brilliant creatures that don't photosynthesize but can create their own enzymes so they can break down granite rocks. If you have ever seen like at the top of a mountain or on a rock that there's a lichen growing, that rock is literally being eaten very slowly <laughs> by that lichen, which has a fungi involved in its alginus as well. So yes, fungi specialize in making nutrients available where they weren't otherwise available. That being said, they don't make their own carbon. That is the magic of photosynthesis, those carbon sugars. So yes, these green leaves photosynthesizing create photosynthetic sugars, carbohydrates from the sun, absolute alchemy. And so they have struck this deal, this age old, I mean, hundreds of millions of years old relationship with fungi where they trade very cooperatively these marvelous sugars that they create in a huge abundance for the potassium and the phosphorus and all of the other micronutrients that that amazing fungi can bring so beautifully to that tree. So yum, yum, yum. Fungi gets a little sweetness and a little extra carbon and brings all the extra phosphorus that it can find to this tree who is just so thankful. So that's a little bit of the <laughs> little insight that we have that we'll continually be learning more and more about the amazingness of the sophistication and brilliance and commitment to community that all of these beings live in. So yes, the rhizosphere is that's that describes the roots of these trees as they are surrounded by those endomycorrhizal fungal relationships. And let's break down endomycorrhizal. So endo internal, literally so deeply committed these beings are to one another that it's not their ectomycorrhizal fungi too, which like imagine my arm is the root and then all around it is the fungal hyphae and this, that's ecto, endo is where the root of the tree literally invites the single cell hyphae to enter, penetrating the cell wall of itself. And that is how enmeshed these beings are together. It's brilliant. It is 
utterly a love story. And that absorptive area increases tenfold. Again, there are 28 miles, give or take, of mycelial hyphae in a single handful of soil. So yes, it is one of the best things that we can be doing for our trees to be creating this very woodsy, fungal-dominated soil system for our trees. And let's break down bacterially versus fungally as well. So the fungal takes a lot more time to establish in terms of like giving nutrients to plants quickly, but there is so are so many nutrients occluded deep within the soil structure, the aggregates, where bacterially dominated soils, think meadows, think your garden, think where anywhere there's tillage, think all of those waving <laughs> fields of grain across Turtle Island, America. Those tilled fields are bacterially dominated. And there's nothing wrong with that either. And don't think bacteria like, ooh, bacteria are bad. I mean, the vast majority of my body weight is bacteria. <laughs> I think of myself as a good person. I digress. <laughs> most bacteria are absolutely fabulous. All of them are. And most of them are for our everyday lives and functioning. Our literal life is dependent. So yes, just because they're bacterially dominated doesn't mean that it's necessarily bad. But what it does mean is that the nutrients cycle that much faster. The bacteria are just cycling, 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 and especially tillage just increases that cycle of their proliferation. And it's like a great big party. If you eat all of your winter stores for Thanksgiving, <laughs> you're gonna be hungry for the rest of the winter. So welcome to America. <laughs> so, which is, there's always so much more to say, but know that how you treat your garden soil is pretty different, foundationally different than how you'll be treating your fruit trees. If you put so much wood-based, full of lignans and cutins and cellulose, if you put all of that mulch and compost on your vegetable bed, it would literally tie up nutrients and your vegetable garden would be hungry. But by contrast, the trees just love it. They love that fungal relationship where they don't have to have access to all of those nutrients. They can just be like, hey, fungi, <laughs> come on in and let's have fun and play together. I'm photosynthesizing. Look at this blue sky above. So at the risk of projection and anthropomorphizing these marvelous beings, it is such a gift to have trees in our lives and to remember that we all want different things and we all need different things, including different portions of our garden. And that is a little bit of why your trees will love all the compost, all the wood chip based compost with all of the wood chips alongside to welcome those fungal beings, to welcome that endomycorrhizal network, that worldwide wood wide web to be in relationship with and you in relationship too.